Biden in Delaware with his family. His son Hunter found guilty today on all three felony gun charges, including lying on a mandatory gun purchase form while addicted or using drugs. When he's sentenced, Hunter Biden could get up to 25 years in prison and faces fines of up to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. This historic moment in politics comes as we inch closer to the presidential election. But will it have an impact on the president's reelection bid? Ben Brown with our ABC 15 political team spoke with voters to hear their thoughts on what this means for them heading into November. Does this verdict today, this guilty verdict with the son, change uh, your opinion of it? Uh, he's not responsible for an adult son. I don't think so. No. I'm, no. I have a 48-year-old daughter, and I can't tell you what she does all the time. That was a consensus when we talked to voters downtown today, telling us they're tired of the partisan politics and aren't putting much weight into Hunter Biden's felony convictions, or Donald Trump's for that matter. I just feel like it's something that's not justified to spend all this money and time, and I'm disappointed actually with the media that they spend so much time on something that we're sick of hearing about, but same thing with Trump. Do you put any stock in these trials at all? No. No, why? They're fixed. No, they're not fixed, but it's political. It's as much political as anything else. Democratic strategists we spoke to don't believe this will have much of an impact on President Biden's re-election chances. I think the more the president humanizes the situation his son's in, the better it is, and the more that it resonates with voters who statistically know someone or are related to someone that has had a substance use problem. But we are in uncharted political territory. This is the first time the son of a sitting president has been convicted in a criminal trial. We have uh, kind of two trains crashing into one another for the first time in U.S. history. A former president and let's not forget major party presidential candidate being convicted and then a president's son being convicted in both cases of felonies. However, the two situations are fundamentally different. Hunter Biden is a private citizen. He's never been in the government. Last month, Trump made history of his own, becoming the first president, former or current, to be found guilty of a felony. But regardless of what's going on in the courtroom, voters continue to seem unmotivated at the ballot box. Biden and Trump are terrible choices. They're foolish old men. I think there's lots of things that we could do more for the political system and better candidates all around. Ben Brown, ABC 15, Arizona.